Hi guys, we're Team Meds. We're going to be demonstrating our subsystems and our full integration today. Um, so this generally starts with my application welcome screen, pretty simple. I have a pin code over here to make sure only the authorized personnel can get into all the medications and its data. We have four uh, mock medications here. We're actually going to be using Skittles to demonstrate. Um, what's important here is the slot numbers associated with them. Um, that's a really important data point that will uh, communi be communicated with the server and then the microcontroller so that we are dispensing out of the right spot. Um, you'll also notice that each of these have uh, unique data points. They're all changeable. And what I'm going to be demonstrating is with this dispense now button um, once my partners speak on their sub subsystems. All right. The next subsystem we're covering is the wireless communication subsystem. Right here we have a Python script that functions as a server. And this very first function here, server start, is what's going to be accepting these new connections from both the phone and the microcontroller. And the function beneath that, the client side function, is what's going to handle the bulk of all the logic, where we build out our schedules and we send out dispense signals and the entire logic line, essentially. I'm going to go ahead and start up this server. And you can see that we're listening on connections. And if we can go ahead and connect the microcontroller, you go and see it's connected itself. And yeah, as we have signals traversing through the network, they'll be reflected here in the terminal, and later on we will see how that actually functions for our physical system. Now, the next subsystem we're covering is going to be the microcontroller subsystem. Okay, so there's two motors that need to be driven with the microcontroller, and they're both driven by half-stepping them. So uh, this is just kind of an example of the half-step I went over in the <coughs> in the presentation, but um, it's basically just driving the four coils and going either in one direction this little block right here or in the other direction to go backwards and same thing for the dispense uh, for oh, that was the dispense the, the dispense motor function and then so whenever we need to dispense I just push it 115 degrees wait for a second pull it back um, and that will uh, be one dispense um, and then I guess the Wi-Fi stuff is at the bottom uh, there's just this just try to connect to the Wi-Fi Try it a few times if it doesn't work, keep trying it, and eventually quit. Um, and then just this call will connect me to Mahesh's socket server, and then I send this string MC32 to verify myself. All right, now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how an instant dispense signal works. So, Rusho, can you go ahead and send a instant dispense signal? You see it reflect here, and the system will be. Oh, oh it's almost dead. Oh, yeah, yeah it goes ahead and demonstrates, and we'll do that right after. Give us I a didn't say anything about it. Not yet, not yet. We, we'll get to you next. We'll pretend the words didn't get caught. That would be a dispensing. That would have been a dispense thing. And then I'm going to unplug it from the wall, and the batteries will take over, and that's fine. All right, and now we're going to go over how all of this is powered. Um, <laughs> so basically, there's two parts of it. The external part is the charging circuit. Since um, the charging circuit, no, I mean, we are not able to test the charging circuit when it's connected to the actual PCB. Since we can't change the voltage of battery, I made another video to show the charging circuit working. So the um, on the PCB, it's just the uh, auto switching circuit. It will um, for now the battery provide the voltage, but if we plug that barrel jack, uh, if we put that wall DC in, then the wall DC will power the uh, then power the system. Yeah. That's all about the power system. All right, and to fully demonstrate that, uh, can we go ahead and have another dis another dispense signal? And midway through, we're gonna plug this in to show that the switching circuit is still working. So right now, we can see it's unplugged. We're sure go ahead. Send. All right, we can see it rotating, and we go ahead and plug this in midway. Still going to go ahead and continue doing its job. Dispenses right there, and now it's going to rotate all the way back. All right, thank you so much. This has been Team Meds, and this is our senior design project.